Hello, and thank you for attending this presentation. My name is Mazhar, and I am a PhD student at Victoria University of Wellington. In this session, I'm going to present my paper, a novel multitask genetic programming approach to uncertain capacitated or routine problem. This is the brief overview of this talk. Uncertain capacitated or routine problem, or UCARP, is a graph-based problem that simulates a fleet of vehicles that are designed to serve a set of tasks in an environment. In this problem, each vehicle has a limited capacity and the environment is modeled with a graph. In the graph, the nodes represent the locations of interest in the environment and the edges or arcs represent the roads that connect the locations. In UCARP, the tasks are assumed to be spread over the roads of the environment. The graph contains a special depot node and all vehicles are initially stationed at the depot node. Associated with each task, there is a stochastic demand value that represents the amount of work that is needed to be done for the task. Additionally, each task has a deadheading cost. This cost is the cost of a vehicle to traverse a road no matter if a task is served in the main time or not. When solving an instance of UCARP, a few constraints are needed to be considered and respected. As it was mentioned earlier, all vehicles are initially stationed at the depot node. In addition to this, all vehicles are required to return to the depot when they finish all tasks. Furthermore, the total demand that a vehicle serves cannot exceed its total capacity. As a result, whenever a vehicle exhausts its capacity, it needs to return to the depot to replenish it and then resume serving tasks. As an optimization problem, the goal in serving UCARP is to serve all the tasks in the environment with the minimum total cost. The final solution of a UCARP instance is a set of vehicle roads. UCARP is an NP hard problem and therefore evolutionary algorithms are the suitable methods for solving it. As of now, the state of the art and the best available method for solving UCARP is the approach of using the genetic programming algorithm as a hyper heuristic to evolve routing policies for vehicles. A routing policy is simply a real valued mathematical function. This function receives the state of the environment as its input and assigns a number to each unserved task as the priority of serving that task. As a result, whenever a vehicle becomes idle, it can assess the priority of available tasks and select the task with the highest priority to serve next. In this regard, a standard genetic programming with single tree representation can be utilized to evolve the routing policies. UCARP is a mathematical problem that has interesting real-world applications. One feature of UCARP in real-world scenarios is that it is subject to change rather frequently. For example, the number of vehicles, graph topology, or the probability distribution of the stochastic variables may change over time. It has been shown that whenever such changes happen, it is possible to continue using the old routing policies, but these old policies will not perform optimally for the new problem. As a result, it is needed to train new solutions. The issue here is that training the routing policies from scratch is a time consuming and hence an expensive process. Therefore, it is desirable to improve the effectiveness or efficiency of the training process. In real world scenarios, the changes in the problem are not very drastic and it can be safely assumed that there are enough similarities between the problems. This motivates the application of multitask optimization algorithms to solve multiple related problems together. Additionally, extracting and sharing the common knowledge between the problems increases the effectiveness of the learning process. One motivation for proposing a new multitask optimization algorithm for UCARP 
is the understanding that the GV population to lose its a phenotypic diversity for solving UCAR. Previous studies have shown that the lack of diversity can have a negative impact on the quality of knowledge transfer. Therefore, multitask optimization algorithms need to consider and address this issue. For proposing our algorithm, we had a set of design considerations. Our method belongs to the category of explicit multitask optimization algorithm. That is, each task is solved but by one separate population with a standard GP. Here in the course of evolution, knowledge is exchanged between populations explicitly in each generation. In our method, we consider the GP individuals as the transferable knowledge. For selection and transfer of knowledge, we consider the phenotypic novelty of the individuals for the receiving population and their fitness in the source population as the selection criteria. Accordingly, our algorithm has the following high level steps. The algorithm begins by initializing one GP population for each problem to solve. Then each population is evaluated for its corresponding problem. After this, the immigrants are selected based on their fitness in their population. Then the standard genetic operators are utilized to breed new populations. Finally, the selected immigrants are inserted into the receiving population. For this, we first summarize each population based on phenotypic characterization of individuals into hash tables. Then we transfer the immigrants and replace the phenotypic duplicates with them with the help of the hash tables. In the context of UCARP, the phenotypic behavior of routine policies pertain to the decisions that they make when serving tasks. To calculate the characteristics of a routing policy, we consider a set of decision situations. A decision situation is a situation in which a vehicle is idle and needs to select a task from a set of unserved tasks to serve next. Having the set of decision situations, we place a fixed ordering on tasks in each decision situation. Then, we utilize the routing policy to rank each task and find the index of the task with the highest priority. Finally, the vector of indices represent the phenotypic characterization of the routing policy. Needless to say, when two routing policies are the same, they have the same characterization. In our method, the selection of immigrants is based on their fitness. The immigrants are inserted into the receiving population if the population does not contain any individuals with the same phenotypic behavior. Otherwise, the individuals are mutated and checked again for a number of times. When an immigrant is inserted into the population, it is needed to select an existing individual to be deleted. In our approach, we consider the phenotypic duplicates for deletion. If the receiving population does not contain any duplicates, we select an individual based on their fitness with a reverse tournament selection. Searching the receiving population for duplicates every time an immigrant is inserted into it can be computationally expensive. To alleviate this cost, we summarize the population into a hash table. That is, for each individual, we calculate this phenotypic vector and then hash the vector into a unique integer with a left shift uh, hashing algorithm. The hash value is used to create the hash table data structure that allows lookups with an O1 time complexity. To verify our method, we consider the set of multitask scenarios. In our scenarios, we consider the set of related problems. The difference of the problems is based on the number of vehicles and is limited to be as small as one or two vehicles. We fix the problems to be the same in all other aspects. The table on the left presents the per performance of our algorithm, as well as a few existing methods averaged over 
30 independent runs. In the table, the best result is highlighted in bold face. As can be seen, our method has the better performance for most problems. To verify the statistical significance of the results, we conducted the Friedman test. The test ranked our method as the best, and its p-value indicated that there is a significant difference between the results. To locate the difference, we conducted post hoc analysis on the results, and the p-value of the pairwise comparisons are presented in the table on the right. As can be seen, the performance of our method is significantly different than all the existing methods. The convergence curves of the algorithms also confirm this. As we see in these plots, all methods started with a similar initial state. However, although the initial performance of, of our method was not much better than other ones, it could surpass the other methods and perform consistently better throughout the evolutionary process. These plots present the distribution of the fitness values of the solutions that each method found. As is evident, our method tends to find solutions with better fitness distributions. A focus of our work was on removing duplicates from the populations. To understand the effect of this, we utilized the entropy diversity measure to calculate the phenotypic diversity of the populations over time. These plots present the evolution of population phenotypic diversity for a few problems. As can be seen, all methods have a high phenotypic diversity initially, but as the GP evolution proceeds, all the existing algorithms lose their diversity quickly. Our method, on the other hand, managed to maintain this diversity and even improve it over time. In this work, we proposed a new multitask learning method that focused on the novelty of the knowledge for transfer. Our experimental results verified the effectiveness of our algorithm. One possible direction for future work is to consider the possibility that the source task may contain duplicates, the transfer of which will introduce duplicates into the receiving population. Another possible direction is to consider the entire history of the target task and not just the current population to search for duplicates. Thank you for your time.